So before I pull the bike too far apart, and my ultimate goal is to go ahead and strip it down to the frame and have the frame powder coated um, or repainted. Uh, but before, the, before I do that, I want to make sure that I can get the engine started. Uh, I am waiting for a couple of things. Uh, there was no ignition coil that came with the bike. Um, and the, I also ordered another uh, reproduction carburetor because I figured this one's pretty old and the reproductions are pretty inexpensive. So uh, I ordered those things and I want to get it started first to make sure that it runs. Um, if it doesn't run, I'm going to look at maybe getting the Lifen 125cc motor or some other route. But first thing is to get it started. Once I get that good, um, I'm going to go ahead and pull it all the way apart and again have the have the frame redone completely. Um, so while I'm waiting, I did pull out a few things. I pulled out the gas can and took off the seat. I'm going to replace the seat entirely, but I took off the bracket um, and so far primered it. Well, first I blasted it down, then I primered it, and I'll repaint it black. The gas can's in pretty good shape. Again, I'll probably do some repaint there. I also ordered a gas cap for it uh, because it was missing that, and I need to find a way to clean some of the inside because there's a lot of rust. Um, but so just doing a couple little things that I can while I wait. Here then is the, I pulled off the, the top chrome piece that goes across, and that's actually in great shape. So I'm going to leave that as is. Uh, inside you can see that there's, maybe you can see, maybe you can't, but that there's no coil in there. So a couple of electronics missing. The wiring on this battery is also uh, pretty scary. I'm not sure what this harness is or why there's so many wires cut from it, but I did order an entire new harness. Before I put all that in though, again, I want to go ahead and make sure I can get the engine started. Uh, and then I'll do the tear down and then rebuild it back up once they get that part done. Up here drying on the wall are just a couple of the bracket pieces. Uh, the white one here, I was able to use a wire brush wheel to get it completely shiny before I put this primer on. There's still a bit of rust on this one that I wasn't able to completely get uh, rust free before I shot it. So I used this special primer for rusted parts. But both of these I'll uh, eventually be painting black. And again, just doing the little parts that I can. Um, and here's the headlight bucket that I'm working on. Uh, and over, overall, I was in pretty good shape. There was a couple of dents that I used some JB Weld here to fill, and I'm just waiting for this to completely dry before I sand out. And up along the edge here, there was uh, a couple of dents that I've since filled. But the idea is that I'm going to polish it, or sand it all the way down, and then I'll shoot this flat black. Similarly, there's a lot of rust in here. I'm going to scrape out as much as I can, but I imagine there's going to be a bunch that I can't. So I'll use this uh, rusty primer, um, rusty metal primer that I was using for the other seat latch. Uh, at least on the inside, I'll probably just use a regular primer here on the outside. So I thought this was gonna be the video where I was gonna show me starting the bike. Um, finally got in this ignition coil that I'd been waiting for, uh, which the bike didn't have. Uh, so I have it here strapped to a you know clean piece of uh, metal. It's uh, sanded down where the contact is. So this is grounded and I have the lead then coming into the black wire, the stator line off of the motor, which the magneto should be spinning this, the coil should then create spark. And here I've got this set up where it's grounded and I've checked continuity to make sure that is grounded. Uh, but when I kick it, I'm not seeing any spark. So next step I'm told is to remove the plate here and look at cleaning the points. Um, I'll look up more detail exactly what that entails and give that a try. So after some more thought, I've decided just to uh, go ahead and order the life in motor, the 125. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull this out and uh, start parting up, pulling apart the rest of the bike. I've been waiting to do um, pull off some of the, the wheels and everything else just because I wanted to have it in a state that I could test the motor. But since my, uh, Effort so far has been fruitless, and I've decided to go with a different motor. I can go ahead and start pulling this apart so I can get um, down just to the frame, get that sanded down, prepped. Either I'm going to paint it myself or have a shop do it, and uh, then start to slowly build it back together, uh, apparently with a new motor. I am also thinking about Fat MX makes a front fork assembly that uh, looks pretty clean and has disc brakes, which I think would be a nice add if I if I can, so I think that I might go ahead and order that as well and um, slowly start putting this thing back together. 
So this has proved easier to disassemble than I thought it would be. Uh, none of the bolts were too stuck. I've got the motor completely out now that I'm going to either try to work on some more and rebuild or maybe just sell to help fund the life and motor that I'm going to order here later today. Uh, most things are now out of the frame here. You see I could ended up sanding it up because it would, it would balance that ways and that helped me uh, get the motor out of the two bolts. Um, all the points though that are holding the motor look pretty strong. All the rust just looks uh, primarily to be surface rust. So hopeful that we can get the uh, frame in great shape before we go ahead and paint it. So I'm just going to go ahead and pull off these few pieces, get the frame out, power wash it. I also have some of these other parts that I'm planning on keeping, like the uh, the frame, the uh, motor guard, and the pedal um, foot peg slash kickstand assembly and the rear brake here that I'll power wash first and then uh, polish up the guard and maybe paint the other pieces. Okay, and that's it. The frame is completely apart. I'm gonna go ahead and power wash this and there's a couple of rust spots I found back here that look particularly bad. Um, I don't think this is too structural right here, but I'm uh, gonna go ahead and sand it up and maybe put some Rust-Oleum on that in here. Also some interesting little eggshells. I don't know, are those baby snake eggs? I hope this happened to uh, hatch before, before I got it. So I'm going to clean this up and uh, then the rest of uh, the next big step is going to be to start to sand this down and figure out what options I have for painting it. Uh, here's the frame completely stripped down. Uh, I mean it still has the paint but everything that can be removed has. I did shoot some uh, Rust-Oleum uh, paint in some of the rusted areas back here after uh, scrubbing it down with um, a Brillo pad and shooting some uh, brake cleaner so that uh, it took off all of the wax and whatnot. But so the frame is completely disassembled. I have a box here of screws and miscellaneous parts, a single shock back there. The bike only came with one. Uh, there's the rear, the rear fork portion, a couple of wheels. I'm gonna redo the rims the tires are probably too beat, too beat up, so those will go. The engine protector is in good shape. Chain guard would look good. The handlebars probably aren't in good enough shape to keep. Wiring harness and some miscellaneous stuff. Here's the motor that I'm probably not going to keep. I may just throw it on eBay. Um, not sure how much it's worth, and it's real heavy, so I don't know if shipping makes it worth it at all. And here are the forks. Uh, I am planning on getting the Fat MX. Uh, fork assembly that will replace this entirely uh, but I did see these going for some money on eBay so I'll see what I can get from there anyway from here it's about uh, cleaning this up and getting it painted once uh, the frame the dropout and the chain, go chain guard are uh, painted and ready to go uh, we'll start assembling it back together